society. And when they send each other, they move far further than the promised land. That's the ahead of the commencement of the Nigerian COVID-19 Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus NGKS program in Lagos State, the government has organized a five-day step-down facilitators and women training across the state. We are creating employment. So that's the sense of this program. That's the, way the training, which started on Monday, October 17, 2022, at Ultra Halls, Ikeja, aims to prepare participants for ease of delivering the project. On utilization of digital Opening declaration of NG Cares in the state was done by the Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment, Honorable Mrs. Yetunde Arubieke, stating that no fewer than 2,145 persons would benefit from the COVID-19 stimulus package. The state cash transfer unit under this noble ministry being the delivery platform assigned to implement resort area one. Transfer to 2,145 beneficiaries in the seven targeted local government and local council development areas, naming Lagos Mainland, Koshofe, Etiosa, Agoyike to Ikosisheri, and Iru, Victoria Island. Also, Yaba inclusive. This is where we have mapped out strategies for the implementation of the program. The State Coordinator Cash Transfer Unit, Mrs. Orimo Gudelola Kouredi, explained that the NGKS program seeks to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 crisis on the livelihoods of the poor, chronically ill individuals, people with special needs and the aged. The program is a, an emergency program designed for those people that were affected by COVID-19. So in order to leave them out of poverty, because we believe that during COVID-19, people lost their People lost their homes, they lost their job, they lost their livelihood. So in order to bring them back on track, and that was why the federal government uh, designed this program in conjunction with the states, uh, all the states of the federation. So in order to help their, uh, the poorest of the poor, the downtrodden, the people being still not held, and uh, people that are less privileged, to help them bring them back track because of COVID-19. So we have four categories. The first one, we have a uh, of Bampo, that is people like mechanic, uh, electricians, and we also have people that we call aged, people that are old. We also have people that are special needs, that is people living with disability. So they too, they were affected by COVID-19. So giving them this social transfer of 10,000 10, on a monthly basis, we also help them to, to get out of this uh, uh, poor state. The class head, Edu Oluwadam Larry Kauda, expressed the light over the training that would have positive impact on them and promised to ensure success of the project. It's a very, very commendable program. We first of all thank our governor, we thank our commissioner, and we thank our um, director that have put all these things together to be able to train those of us that already have one or two experience with the humanitarian job. The purpose of the training is to ensure that the poor and vulnerable between this are six to one. And you know, to be able to deliver, those of us that will be saddled with such responsibility must actually know about what we are doing. So that is what this training is all about. Training uh, for CTL is a good one that it will improve our service delivery for our constituents because uh, this social intervention is indeed needed. Across the world, uh, we have economic medal due to the global pandemic and uh, for people to come back and uh, take up their life back, we have to do this kind of interventions. I'll say that um, they are doing a great work. Um, I pray to all my talent to enrich their pocket and give them the strength and ability to do more than what they are doing. They are really making a good effort in providing for the needy. The NGKS program is designed to support a budgeted program of expenditures and interventions at the state level targeting vulnerable and poor households, agricultural value chains, and micro and small enterprises affected by the economic crisis.